Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Quintilian. I am going to show you some more handwriting. The handwriting book is your greenish blue colored book. These are pages 11 through 13. So I want you to get that out if you could and follow me. We're going to do some center starting capitals. We did a bunch last week and then we're going to do the rest of them this week. So center starting capitals. Here are the magic C, sorry about that, the magic C letters. Magic C bunny means that you're doing a C and then you're continuing. So capital C goes like this around, O is all the way around and meeting up. So it looks like you're making a C, then you continue all the way around. And then you go down for the Q. Boys and girls, anytime you can stop the video or go back or pause it. So you can make sure that you're drawing these and writing these in the same direction that Mrs. Q is doing. Then you can use these dots down below to do the other letters to practice them again real carefully. See which one is your best one, and then you might want to circle it. You can do the other letters that start in the center. All letters start at the top, but this is starting in the center. We have the S. A starts here, goes down, down, and across. I going down, across, across. T going down, across, down, with J going that direction, and across. Follow the numbers. And again, you can do your letters starting at the center. Follow the direction. I going this way. It is important that way we don't make our letters going backwards. There is plenty of room down below to continue your letters. So at the bottom of the page, keep going. I'm going to erase this. And then we're going to go to page 12. Page 12 is going to be a whole group of our letters, all of the letters that we're reviewing. If you forget how to draw any of those letters and to write any of them, you can go back to the other pages and that way you will know how to go in the order. Remember that you're starting at the top. I'm not going to do them all for you. I just want you to make sure you're starting at those dots. Okay, the next page, last page that we're going to do this week is our numbers. And the numbers are so important, friends, because if we go in different directions, we end up with backwards numbers. So I really want you to focus on those numbers. I've seen a lot of reversing of our numbers, and the reason why is because we're writing them in an, a wrong way. So let's look at them real carefully today. One, of course, goes down, then you can do it down here. Two, down and around, then do your two down here. Three, let's start up here with the arrow, and then start and go around for three. That way we're not making a backwards one. Four, if you look at it, number one goes like this, number two like this. Um, it doesn't want to write up there now. There we go. Number one, number two for four. Number one and around and two. And then we can do it down below. I'm having some glitching here on my smart board and around. Okay. And this one goes six goes around this way. That way we don't end up with a backward six. Seven, like this, follow those arrows. 
eight is kind of a fun one. We can go around and you can keep going around. It's kind of fun, like a skateboard, right? Park or something. And we go down and do our eight again. Number nine, around, straight down. So we can do our number nine. And that way it doesn't look like a P. And then we have our one and our zero or 10. Then you can continue down the page and do the other numbers. Practice down here with your numbers. Just go ahead and do them down below, okay? I'm gonna show you one more thing. This was handwriting, but I'm gonna have you also look at your yellow journal. Hopefully you have that with you I believe all the teachers has, have sent that home. So I believe you have that with you. So I'm gonna to go to a handwriting page. I do just wait one minute, I gotta flip it so it's in the right direction. Now it's on my board. Right at the top, you have a big area for a beautiful picture that you can do, okay? You can do as detailed as you want with that picture. And then down below are where we're going to put our words. Make sure that you have watched Mrs. Whetstone's video on how to write um, or how to, to break apart a story into puzzle pieces. She's talking about our story form and how we make a story with the characters and the setting and all of that. Mrs. Q is just going to show you how to write on your pages in your yellow writing journal. We will be using this often, so I wanna make sure that you're writing the correct way. There is an important thing about writing that we need to remember, that writing full sentences is super important. We need certain things in every sentence. So when we write, we need to start with a capital, okay? And make sure those letters that hang below, like a, a Y, down here, it's hanging below the line, and the M goes above the line because it's capital, my dog. Make sure the G goes below the line. Sat. And we gotta write inside these little lines. On my foot. Some dogs like to do that. When we write a complete sentence, we start with a capital letter and we end with a stop sign, either a period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. We need to make sure that we also have a subject, like a dog, person, place, or thing, and an action word, like sat, something that we do. That's how we write a full, complete sentence. Make sure we're trying our best by writing complete sentences. All right, boys and girls, do your best on your writing. Enjoy your week. Talk to you later.